Hello and welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau. Welcome to our English speaking friends from around the world and we're looking back literally. Bonsoir à tous, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe en Sambadel. Und uns unseren Freunden aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum herzlich willkommen. Neue Episode Journey to the Chateau und wir gucken nach hinten sozusagen, aber wirklich gemeint. Yeah, we are here today in our entrance hall uh, in a very odd background. <laughs> no kidding. So, yes. So, uh, if you've watched our previous episodes, you know we have been working on the water closet that is here in our entrance hall. Yes. Which is the door that's behind us right now. And it's it's not a powder room because no one powders anymore. <laughs> as far as I know, well, not in in a in a in that room, but it's it's a toilet with a sink in it uh, next to it. So it's it's a washer closet, literally. It is, and we have done uh, sort of a, a fast-paced uh, getting this done. Uh, yeah, it wasn't really on the radar for things to do, and it suddenly became a priority. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we had, you know, Tony here to help, and John here to help. Yes, and uh, it was one of the main projects that we both worked on. Yep, uh, this past week. And can we just quickly say? Everything is crooked, and in nothing the whole, in is, the whole chateau, by the way. Right, but nothing <laughs> is fast. You can't say, "Okay, I need a piece of of wood trim," and you cut it to the no. It, nothing is right. ever easy. So, and that's not complaining. It's just explaining why things take ten times longer than would in any apartment or the houses we have renovated. Nothing was ever this difficult um, or time consuming. So right. have a look. To prime, I am using Little Green All Service Primer ASP. Uh, so excited! Again, this wall is not finished, the front, because we haven't decided what we are doing in the end. Um, so I'm not going to put in a lot of work into something that might change. So uh, it's well and prepped. Here, I will use glass fiber, um, uh, well, it's, it's not a wall paper, so it's, uh, it's glass fiber which won't crack and will seal this off, so on three sides, it's gonna be quite nice. And I'm gonna put uh, the all surface primer on here. This is, it's lovely, first of all, because uh, it pretty much, gives you a surface that your paint is going to stay on. For the back here, we have uh, decided on something that's going to be quite a surprise. Uh, it's a bit out of, let's just say, out of our comfort zone. And I hope we love it as much uh, as we think we will. And we hope you like it too. <laughs> You'll tell us. Um, and the nice thing is with wall coverings, paint or wallpaper, whatever it is, uh, it is all relatively easy to change. So there's no, one does not need to fret over it too much. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, let's be honest, as a, a visual a toilet between us, <laughs> how many vlogs, <laughs> how many vlogs do you watch where this takes center stage? <laughs> However, we're very proud of this. It's brand new and the, the old toilet had horribly brown old lime scale in it. It yeah. was, I don't know, 60, 70 years. It was just needed to go. There needed to be a fresh start and there it is. So we're calling her the Marquise de Colombe. It's, uh, and there used to live a Marquise here, but that was about 200 years ago. Right. However, so she is quite something. It's quite a statement. And, and, and you know, <laughs> don't think that she's judging you at all. <laughs> right. She's yeah. above judging. Right. Yeah. And I she's, mean, a, she's, no a, she's, a, she's a lot of fun. And, you know, nothing that we had originally planned when we started doing nope. this renovation. Or we haven't planned anything for this. It just, no. it just happened. This we knew that like... we needed to uh, renovate this uh, toilet. So, uh, yeah. and, and, you know, <laughs> we're so happy with the way it turned out. It's, it's fantastic. It's a little bit quirky and, you know, uh, I think people are going to really like it. Well, it, it's, look, it, um, this is not a museum. Right. So and, it, and it's our home. Right. And, and this will be in, in the part where guests are and if we have we're, we're going to start uh chambre d'hôte and uh or I mean bed and breakfast and then f throughout the summer table d'hôte so that means people who are staying here can actually have dinner with us right so that so they need to be able to go from the dining room to a restroom right wash their hands and and this is claire and jane absolutely hammered us that it could not be only a cold water supply <laughs> which we were perfectly fine with right but the ladies were not so it is now has a water heater and it has mm -hmm. warm water to wash right hands how about it yes yes and i could say something to clear right now but i'm not gonna <laughs> repeat it <laughs> right right <laughs> But it was, it's a great idea. It is, and we, we uh, love the way that it turned out. Yes. And, uh, and you know, the one thing about uh, doing bathrooms in a, a building that's this old is that there, uh, when this building was first created, there were no bathrooms in this building. No, there were chamber pots. That's right. So it's, it's sort of like, you know, there isn't really an example to follow of, you know, you need to do a bathroom a certain way because... No. Because there were no bathrooms in the shack. Absolutely not. I mean, right. in, in Versailles, they have, uh, in certain corners, they have limestone that was eaten away because there were so many men who urinated in those corners. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there weren't any, there is no right or wrong in historical <laughs> reference. And there the clock goes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Different clock. Uh, but so it's we're, we're really thrilled with how this turned out. We are yes. So uh, we do have some uh, questions that people have yes. asked. So I will read some. We'll answer a few of them on this episode. Uh, the first one is, uh, what was it that you used to clean the chandelier? Yes. Yeah, so um, I used fifty percent medicinal alcohol and fifty percent distilled water. And uh, what's what's the, the stuff I'm using? The microfiber cloth, cloth. that really takes everything off. Mm -hmm. Wipe it relatively dry. It it, um, it the the rest will evaporate and it looks fantastic. Okay, looks every time. Yep. And so next one is, uh, how many bed and breakfast rooms do you have, and when will they be up and running? Oh, we have one. <laughs> well, <laughs> almost. First, let's start. <laughs> We, we will have we will have two bed and breakfast rooms. Yes, eventually. Uh, yes, Sorry. and that is all that we will have, right? And so we are currently have been working on the first one. Yes, to get it and to get it up and running. And I would say, well, May May first we yes. start, and we have already a booking for um, mm -hmm. for May. So it will be an Airbnb, and um, we have now actually the correct colored fabrics uh, in production in the in Great Britain. Yes. Uh, Jason, bless your heart. Thank you for your help. And so, but yeah, so we will have two and, but one for 2025. One for, yes, one for this year. And, and the other one hopefully next year. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you do better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, last question for this episode. 
They wanted to know when Donna and her son Jack and her friend Mary might be coming back. Oh yeah, Donna. When are you organizing a trip with Mary <laughs> and Jack to come back? Cause so, for the, so for those who don't know, so uh, <laughs> Donna is uh, sort of has taken on the chapel here at the Chateau as her project that she wants to help us with. Yes, and she's a patron. She has become a wonderful friend. Mm -hmm. And so is, is Mary. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they were here last year and they actually cleaned out the chapel from loaded with debris. So to the point, and there goes the clock again. <laughs> French old clocks always ring twice, so sorry about that. Uh, and so it was wonderful to have them, and then of course Donna came back with her son Jack. And so that is a question we're putting right back to Mary and Donna. When are you coming back? Absolutely. Love to have you anytime. Yes. yes. So that's it for this episode. If you like, please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe. That doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us tremendously. And recommend us to your friends and family. And if you want to support the renovation of the Chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. And we will see you on Wednesday. Absolutely. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.